Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love bite. Taurus, let's see what's the message here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Taurus spirit, what's the message for my Taurus gang? Wheel of Fortune but in reverse. Things have been stuck. Tower in reverse, Emperor in reverse, Chariot in reverse, Hermit in reverse, Page of Pentacles, Devil in reverse, Hierophant upright, thank God, and the lovers. Bottom of my deck, Ace of Cups, uh, sorry, Ace of Pentacles in reverse as well. So somebody feels that uh, they made some very unwise and foolish choices. I think they do want to rebuild, but they're feeling they're getting some bad karma maybe, maybe because they were very stubborn in the past or they didn't take the right path. Now things could be stagnant. Somebody's really hoping now to do something to get this toxicity out of this connection. Maybe they're ready for a commitment. I don't know because the Hierophant is the only card which is upright in this uh, entire spread. I think somebody is ready for commitment now. They're making that choice. Let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards here, Taurus. But first, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Taurus and their person spirit. Taurus and their person. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Taurus and their person. Let's take a few more Taurus from another deck. Taurus and their person. And a few more from a third deck as well, Taurus. And then we'll start the reading. Taurus and their person spirit. Taurus and their person. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading, Taurus. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I can feel your frustration with not being able to express yourself to me. You're overthinking things too much. Perhaps you could consider writing things down to get your thoughts flowing on paper to clear your head. I'm planning a surprise engagement. See, I told you. <laughs> Somebody's got a commitment on their mind now. They want to rebuild. I'm planning a surprise engagement. I want to ask you to marry me. Will you say yes? When I'm feeling low, I close my eyes and I can feel your presence comforting me. I'm so grateful to our mystical connection. Your love makes my day, my week, my month, my year and my life. The moon makes me think of you and the shine of the moon is like your guiding light. I'm sorry for the way I treated you before. I'm ashamed of it. Communication, text or call. Somebody is wanting to communicate now. Taurus. Separation is an illusion, my love. I'm already with you. Always. You have half our gifts. I the other. If you would only work with me, instead of being silent and shutting me out, we could overcome any obstacles together and heal in sacred union. Stop pushing me. I need to make my own choices. My feelings for you are extremely intense. Do you feel the same as I do for you? I pushed you away because I was hiding my feelings for you. You are my muse. If you only knew how much you've inspired me. Darling, you are my masterpiece. I wish I could let go of fear to tell you how much you inspire me. And this one, of course, is just a duplicate. Uh, the moon makes me think of you and the shine of the moon is like your guiding light. So somebody is really thinking heavily. Okay, so 
Let's start the clarification, but let's also first take an angel blessing card for you, Taurus. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Taurus gang with today. A blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Here it is. And the card I have here for you is safe travel. Maybe somebody is coming towards you, Taurus. Maybe coming with a proposal or something. Uh, maybe this is just for you. It could be moving on from one phase of your life to the next. Right? So safe travel, the angels are guiding. Okay, so now let's start the reading. Uh, why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse spirit for Taurus? This first card. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they took their person for granted. Now they're feeling stuck. They feel they took their person for granted. They didn't reciprocate the love. Now things are stuck. Now they're trying to figure out how do I heal the broken heart, right? Uh, maybe in the past this person didn't fight for the connection, didn't reciprocate the love. Now they feel they lost that love. Now how do I now make things better? How do I rebuild with my person? How do I get them to put their barriers down? Uh, tower in reverse. Too many cards. Okay. Tower in reverse. Yeah, then they, they, they could be coming forward with some kind of an apology or something. Somebody is really thinking about how do I rebuild now? How do I rebuild? How do I get that love back? Uh, how do I make, make things better? I think whoever this person is, is feeling rather embarrassed and ashamed of some past behavior. Maybe they made the wrong choice or they were just very stu stubborn and egoistic. It was always going to be their way or the highway and things could have stopped because of that. Right? So, Emperor in reverse. Emperor in reverse, yeah, as they, they knew this connection made them very happy, but uh, they chose to push that person away or not make a decision or they didn't want to make a decision which they would later regret or something and things just were started to go backwards instead of going forward to a point where I think things stopped. Chariot in reverse, yeah, now, now it's like maybe there was, I don't know, uh, this person was maybe there was some gossip about them as well or they were just being petty they were pursuing some things which made gave them a lot of satisfaction maybe they were liking the attention from you know other people maybe maybe they were lying they were cheating they were ghosting they were doing something just trying to delay taking action towards the person who I think heart of hearts they knew that this is my person they were trying to avoid taking that action and now they're this was a delay this was a delay tactic waiting for you know biding more time or something trying to keep the door open i'll make my decision later till i think something came to light and now they feel that was the worst decision of my life they feel they made some very unwise choices they never invested when they had an opportunity this person never put in the time energy effort now they're in isolation wondering how to make that person forget about all their bad habits or bad things that they did in the past their toxic behavior right they want to now rush back in they want to rush back in because mm, i think that person has now stopped maybe talking to them or has gone silent on them they could be very stagnant uh, this connection could have gone you know closed off or something but it's actually made this person come to some kind of clarity about their own past bad behavior and what they must release and uh, what they want now Devil in reverse yeah they, their own trickster ways I think this person was a trickster and I think the main trickery that they did was they were trying to delay coming forward with uh, maybe a commitment maybe they were not ready for commitment and they said okay maybe not now maybe later right now I mean I do like them I do want see them in my future but not right now now they feel oh my god I delayed it for too long now I've been blocked I don't know uh, see again the hermit now they could be lonely they could be sad and now they they're feeling this connection come to a stagnant halt I think now they are ready to make you know kind of now they've now they're appreciating the fact that yes uh, I do want commitment I think now they are making up their mind uh, because they don't want to lose out on this happiness the thought the thought of uh, losing out on a ten of cups 
situation for the future is actually depressing to them. They are realizing that uh, it is because of their past bad behavior that this connection came to an end. This play person was playing mind games. They were creating conflict for nothing. They didn't appreciate this empress when they had this empress in their life. And that's how this connection came to an end, right? So if this person had was keeping their options open and ha, you know was trying to keep this, confu this connection mm, non-committal, I think they are kind of coming to some kind of a decision or choice. What's this spirit? Are they making the choice or do, do they feel that the other person has now made the choice? What's the lovers in reverse? <laughs> they feel that person has made that choice. Now this person is scared that they are seen as the devil and that person has taken their power back, has made up their mind, now will not want them back in their life anymore, has totally dropped them, given up on the connection and that is devastating this person. They are seeing that person not only strong and like kind of taken their power back, but also shining rather bright, you know, looking good, looking well and following their own passions. And now they feel, oh, oh, I've lost out on a soulmate. Now they're not sure whether their offer will even be accepted. <clears throat> so tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Overall energy spirit. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, I think this connection blew up. They are. This is almost like karmic justice. This, this connection could have blown up because this, there was a tower here. This, there was a tower here because somebody was not offering <clears throat> anything stable to grow with because they were wanting to keep their options open. Right? Maybe they didn't want to choose one and they didn't want to get stuck in a situation. They, they, this person was wanting to be maybe footloose and fancy free and now they feel they've been judged for that or they're getting some karma for that and uh, dreading that now this connection will come to a close or has come to a close with unhappy memories and that person is moving on towards new love. I think I have uh, this em emperor in reverse feeling they've lost their power and they've lost out on their biggest wish now. They feel that person is no longer stuck on them, has cut those chains which were keeping them stuck and tied, no longer missing them and that's what's making this person feel very very unhappy they feel none of my dreams and wishes will come true now because i think now they have decided that they do want to offer uh, offer that same offer which they never did for so long but now where is the courage there's no courage left because things have been stagnant for a while and that person has quite gone quiet on them and that this silent treatment now that they are getting is making them feel that they've been released so that's what I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste Taurus.